So in the previous video, I showed you how to differentiate sine x from first principles using these limits. Okay? We're going to do the same thing with cosine x now. So in this case, f of x is cosine x. So d by dx of cosine x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h, so cosine of x plus h, take away f of x, so cosine x, all over h. So just as before, we split up the cosine of x plus h into its, uh, using its compound angle formula. Okay, so we can split that apart and say cosine x, cosine of h, take away sine x, sine h, and we've got, the, so we've got to take away the cosine x on the end as well, all over h. We then want to factorise uh, to have cosine x and a sine x. So we're going to have cosine x, and I'm going to put the cosine h in a bracket, and we've got that take away one lot of cosine x there as well. And let's factor out the sine x as well. So sine x, lots of sine h, all over h. OK. Now, as I did in the previous video, you can break that limit apart into two limits. So we've got the limit of cosine x, lots of cosine h, take away 1 over h. Take away the limit as h tends to 0 of sine x, lots of sine h over h. Now, because the cosine x and the sine x have not got h in them, OK, they aren't going to be affected by the limits, so you can bring those outside of the limits. Like that. And the same here, so take the sine x out. So we've got left with the sine h over h. So the limit as h tends to 0 of cosine h take away 1 over h. We know up here is 0. So we've got cosine x times 0 there. And we've got the sine x times by, well, sine h over h is just 1. And so the derivative of cosine x is minus sine x by its first principles.